everyone. This is Sledhead. I'm coming at you with my head shave of the day for today. It is <clears throat> February 23rd, 2021. And I did want to say uh, thanks for checking out the uh, shave today. I definitely do appreciate it. Okay, so to get into it here, I just did want to go through some of the equipment that we'll be using for the shave today. On the hardware side, the razor I'm going to be using. <clears throat> uh, this is the PAA Phantom Blue Razor. Uh, very nice little razor here. Just use it on my face. I'm going to use it on my head now. A uh, real nice one. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. The brush. This is the West Coast Shaving uh, Two Tone Brush for this 26 millimeter uh, black synthetic. Real nice uh, little brush here. I always liked it. It's got a nice little coin in it. Uh, definitely recommended. Okay, then the uh, software side here. New one. Uh, I haven't even used it yet. I got it a while ago though. Uh, this is a uh, Sterling. Uh, what was it? Iced pineapple. So this is just pretty much pineapple with menthol. And I got this used, so it's uh, that full, pretty full though. Boy, that smells just like a pineapple. Mmm, great scent. But yeah, can't wait to use it. I hope it I'm sure it's gonna be as good as it smells. And then I also got this used. Uh, it's a Sterling Ice Pineapple Balm. So this will be the first bomb. No, I'm sorry, this is not it'll be the second time I've used a bomb from Sterling. So looking forward to it. I'm sure it's gonna be just as good as the other one. I think I have Ramblin' Man is the other one I've had. I'll try. Okay, so that's the hardware and the software, so we can go ahead and uh, get the shave started. So let's go ahead and rock this head shave out. Just gonna take my brush here, get it wet. Shake out a little. Bring it here, start loading up. Oh, and I hope everybody's doing well. I forgot to ask. I'm doing well. Just a, you know, wintry weather. Crazy. Can't wait for March. I'm done with winter officially, I feel. And that's what everybody around this part of Pennsylvania says as well. Too much snow. We're all officially sick of it. Okay, load up. Bring to the head here. I need a little more water there. Boy, this is fruity. I don't have a ton of fruity kind of soaps, so I figured I saw this for sale, I'd grab it. It was pretty inexpensive. <clears throat> so I figured, why not? I got this along with something else I can't quite remember right now. Oh, I think I got it with the... When I got that Barrister Man Sunny Lane a while back. I got this at the same time, I just... I haven't gotten around to using it, to be honest with you. You know what I think? I don't think I was doing videos for a while, and I figured I won't do it on video. So I held off on it until I did a video with it. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. I'll just, <clears throat> I don't want to wait for a video. I'll just use it and then whatever. So this isn't a first impression, you won't be say, see me saying first impressions, something clickbaity like that. I just flip it normal. I think that'll do. Okay. Okay, so first pass with the Phantom Blue from PAA. My wife gave this to me uh, for Christmas, and I've been loving it so far. This is the first time I've used it on camera. Didn't want to. But there we go. Yeah, very nice. Very similar to the PAA Bakelite Open Comb Slant. Uh, this isn't Bakelite. This is, uh, I forget what's it, what it's called. 
some sort of plastic. Uh, don't have it off the top of my head here, but works very well. This might be the last use on this blade, though. I believe this is a Astra Superior Platinum. It has about five or six uses on it now, and it's definitely not as smooth as it was. Still cutting, just not super smooth is all. Oh, I can feel the menthol. Here it comes. See, I think when I got this, I thought it was glacial. But this is just regular sterling menthol, which I don't think I've had a menthol product there yet, so I guess we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> I don't mind menthol. I like menthol. I know some people love the super mentholated stuff, like uh, if you watch Nomeo Shaves, I think he's a big fan of their, their glacial products. That might be something for me to look into maybe in the summer. That's when I seem to... See, just like the uh, <clears throat> Bakelite open comb, it goes right down. Hold on. It's interesting how it works like that. doesn't bunch up on the head, it just keeps going down. First one, you gotta be careful with this one, doing your head, uh, the blade tabs are exposed. So be careful around your ears here. We'll get you. Everything's good here. No drama here. The core sterling is good. I don't hear too many complaints about sterling. They're pretty dang good. I'm sure, yeah, there's better soaps out there, but for the price, though, it's such a good stuff. Even with even if the price wasn't that low, or as you know cost effective as they are, they're still pretty good. <clears throat> Feeling good, and my head is very cold right now for that menthol. A little more water. Back to the head here. I might go. Here, let me dip a little bit more. Why not? Give another swirl in the soap. Who cares? water. Oh, my head's feeling real cold now. Put more menthol on and out. It was already pretty feeling close shave, so very cold. Very pretty cold, in my opinion. I wouldn't say it's off-putting, though. Just cold, though. Oh, that good? Okay. No, I think it went against the cream the first way around. Oh, well. Now to be really close. That's what some people do. They just do the against the grain pass and call it good. I think Rudd's does something like that, I think. Well, like two against the grains or something like that. To each their own, though. Whatever works for you, pretty much. Razor's working really good too, by the way. Uh, 
I've gotten some pretty close shaves of that big light open comb slant. And I think I've had pretty similar results with this one as well. This is reasonably priced too, it's like $25, I believe. Just a nice razor. It is light, so if you don't like light razors, you wouldn't like this, but I don't find light razors to be bad at all. You just put a little more pressure than you normally would. Just a tad bit of pressure. You generally don't have to with other ones, but since these are so light, you do a little bit, but never bothered me. Let's go around the ears here one more time. Feel good. We call that good. My black sheet towel here. Very good. Oh yeah. Close. <clears throat> okay, so let's put on a little of this iced pineapple balm here. That's probably more than enough. I used that much by accident. I didn't mean to put that much on, but oh well. Oof. Too much. Didn't mean to put that much on. Here's one. Put a little balm on my face too. Oh yeah, this is good. So a nice little menthol kick again through everything. Okay, so that does take care of the head shave of the day for today. So I'm just going to go through again what we use for the shave. Okay, so software, sterling, iced pineapple. Uh, really nice. I like the scent. I believe it or not. I didn't think I'd like a pineapple, but pretty good. Uh, probably really good in the summer. Menthol matching balm with it here. Good stuff. The razor, the Phantom Blue from PAA. Uh, really nice razor. I like it a lot. I'd say get one if you could. And the West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Brush. Really nice stuff. Okay, so again, that takes care of the head shave of the day for today. So I did want to say thanks for checking out the video. really do appreciate it. Please like and comment below. If you can't uh, leave a comment, at least leave a thumbs up on the way out. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe. New subscriptions are always appreciated. So again, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have some great shades.